It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. I'm not just any any brand. brand. I'm my own brand. All right, and Post Malone is being sued, and he's being accused of physical abuse Mm. of his ex-girlfriend, Ashlyn Diaz. Now, Ashlyn and Diaz, um, Ashlyn Diaz and Post Malone dated uh, for three years. They broke up in 2018. She was seeking palimony. That's when you're not married, but you guys dated, and so... Yes, okay. it's called palimony. Um, now, according to the lawsuit, they said that Post Malone convinced her to drop uh, the percentage of any settlement and work out a private deal. He paid allegedly $350,000 to her to settle her claims. But according to court documents, they are saying that there's photos and text messages that relate to his alleged physical abuse mm. of his ex-girlfriend. So... Interesting. And I'm, I mean, not that abuse isn't serious. I was more intrigued by the palimony bit of it. Right. Um, yeah, if you're never married and you're with somebody, you agree to a settlement. But three, I mean, three years is not a long time. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know how frequently palimony uh, goes through. But maybe if you have something on somebody, maybe people are apt to get it. Right. If you're like, look, I need this because, mm-hmm. you know, who knows why they really broke up. But um, gotcha. according to his side, the claims are frivolous, unreasonable, or without foundation. And they're trying to get this lawsuit dismissed. Okay. All right. Now, Sherry Shepard, unfortunately, has tested positive for COVID. Mm. So, you know, the Sherry Shepard show is on, but it is now going to have to have um, reruns from the premiere week back. So according to the statement by the show, the health of our host and entire staff is of the utmost importance. Sherry said, I'm absolutely heartbroken that I cannot return to host my show this week as soon as I get the all clear from my doctor. I look forward to coming back strong to deliver the fun, laughter, and a real good time. Okay. That's tough because it's your show, so you can't even be sick. Uh, yeah, because if she's not there, that's it. You know I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you cannot, get, you cannot okay, be sick. I cannot get sick. I gotta Way up. Stick it through. With TBD. Uh, <laughs> all right, and Carrie Washington's book, uh, Thicker Than Water, is going to be coming out. And she did a sit-down conversation with Robin Roberts. And by the way, congratulations to Robin Roberts, who got married. Yeah, what, last uh, weekend? Yeah, recently. Okay. Congratulations to her. Mm-hmm. Um, so she did a sit-down conversation, and she talks about her book. And here is the trailer where Robin Roberts is asking her about different things that she discusses in her book. Do you actually contemplate it suicide? Yeah. As I say that to you, I'm like, that'll be the headline. You said, I was using alcohol and sometimes food and sometimes weed and sometimes sex to alter my brain chemistry and allow me a dangerously destructive escape. Mm. Now, this is all Robin Roberts' new uh, show. It's coming on on Sunday, so she's going to be producing a wide range of original narrative nonfiction projects like specials, okay. nonfiction series, and documentaries for ABC, Hulu, and Disney+. Oh, nice. And so this is one of her first things that she's done is sit down with Carrie Washington ahead of her book coming out. Okay. Well, this is interesting because Carrie Washington is so private that we... We didn't know she got married. We didn't know she got married. We didn't know she had kids. You want to hear something crazy? So during the pandemic, before I bought my Airbnb upstate, Mm -hmm. I looked at another amazing, amazing house. And apparently it was her house that she built upstate and never lived in. That's how rich you are, Angela. No, it's beautiful. I didn't buy it. I know. You was was considering (laughs) it. But I did go look at it. Uh, We got to get this book because I want to hear more tea. And I also think Upstate is a little less expensive than, of course, yeah. you know, it's a, a lot further out. But we, my realtor and I were looking for an investment property. And to be honest, this house, so, so amazing. Yeah. But it was during the pandemic. And so when they finally opened it up for people to come see it, they got all cash offers. Oh, okay. Way above the asking price. All right. All right, now Glorilla has explained why she was throwing up a gang sign while she was with Fabio Foreign. Mm-hmm. She just didn't know. She said, I didn't know what it meant until after we took the picture. I thought he was telling me to throw up his gang. Gang, gang. And so she got annoyed because a lot of people had things to say. I'm going to be honest, I didn't know. I know. I feel stupid because people were in the comments like, she should know better. She should have known that. I, it, this is a Chicago situation? Um. Well, Fabio's from Brooklyn. I know, but... But the GDs, I guess that's what they're saying. That's their gotcha. sign. I don't know. So I'm okay. just speculating based off of the comments of everybody having something to say. Yeah. Glorilla, I'm with you. I want to know what that was. <laughs> Would that's you have thrown it up? I either throw the peace sign <laughs> or you got to point at somebody or... Middle what? finger? Are you one no, of those like girls? No, like a point. No, but... Like, hey, I'm with this person. Do you do the... <laughs> I'm stupid. Do you, do you do the middle <laughs> finger, like the hood? No, I don't do that. I don't do the middle finger. What else can you do with your hands in a picture? I don't know. Yeah, peace. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that I was. I don't know what that is either. Our board up threw up a gang sign. 
I don't know what gang. That's he's like in. Longhorns, right? Like the football team. That's Longhorns? like he's an alien. I don't know what okay. he's doing. All right, maybe. But yeah. So the moral of the story is peace sign only. Okay. <laughs> and maybe if you're feeling risque, a little finger. <laughs> that is your UT. When we come back, we have under the radar. These are the stories that are not in the headlines. They're flying under the radar. It's way up with Angela Yee. 